Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooks Beauty Bazaar. I hope you guys are all doing well. So you may remember in my last video that I posted, I did my morning fungal acne skincare routine, shared all those steps with you guys. It was pretty basic and at the end of that video, I promised you guys that I would be dropping my PM routine. So that is what we are here for today. So as a quick preface to this video, I just wanted to say to you guys, it is really hard to just put down on paper or in this video what my PM skincare routine truly is because I will be honest, I'm very intuitive with my skin and while I am consistent in completing at least a three step skincare routine every single night, I'm a little bit less consistent on which product I always use because in each step there are multiple steps. So each main category, <laughs> there's multiple things that I do, and then there's multiple products that I'll use and combine differently depending on how my skin is feeling. I'm super into kind of intuitively listening to my skin. So if it's really congested, I'll do certain things. If I'm having some breakouts, I'll do something different. If it's really good, I'll do something completely different from that too. So it really does vary, and I am gonna share all of that with you guys today. So while I have three major steps, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are 11 varied products here that I actually use, but not all at the same time. So buckle in, it's gonna be a little bit of a longer video, but I'm going to try and give you all the information in a very clear and more concise way. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So the first major category, the first major step that we're gonna do is cleanse our skin. Now, for me personally, I still do the same thing that I always have done, which is a double cleanse, which just means that with one product, I'm going to remove all of my makeup, and with a second product, I'm actually going to cleanse my skin. Hear me now when I say this, you guys do not have to double cleanse your skin. It is more than okay for you to just wash your face. The main thing that you need to consider when you're doing your cleansing step is that you're actually cleaning your skin. So if you were to take like a cotton swab and swab your face after you cleanse your skin, there should not be any residue or any makeup left on your skin at all. And that's the whole point. And that way I know that all the next steps that I'm doing to work with my skin and make it amazing are actually going to be that much more effective because I'm not sleeping in dirt and grime. So that's just a quick note on the cleansing step. So that being said, the first thing that I will do when I cleanse my skin is go in with the Albaline Moisturizing Cleanser. Now, this is the same stuff I've been using for a really long time now. It is still completely fungal acne safe. And then once I've massaged that all over in my skin, I will take a simple washcloth and I will use like lukewarm to cold water. Lately, I've been going more on the cold side and I actually think that that's a really good change that I've made. So cool water and I will just really get all of that makeup off by just rubbing my skin in circular motions just like you see me pretending to do right now. That's what I do. Because I'm someone who wears eye makeup pretty much every day too, I will go in after doing this with this Bioderma Sensa Bio H2O Micellar Water. Now, if you guys are not such a fan of like the double cleanse or whatever, you could actually just use this Sensibio as your main like makeup remover, like cleanser in general. And you could just take all your makeup off and then you don't even really have to use an actual cleanser if you don't want to, but I definitely am going to. Then I'm still, you guys, using the same thing. I feel like my cleansing step has not changed at all except for the cold water thing. Um, I'm still going in with my Sabium Gel Moussant by Bioderma. This is my favorite, favorite product. I just don't ever really want to change from this because it works so well for me. It's so gentle. It's non-irritating. It is just so good. So I'm probably never going to get rid of this blue bottle, get used to seeing it. You'll see it a hundred more times where this came from. This I just use a little bit, massage it all over my face, rinse with cold water, and we are on to the next step. So the second big step in this routine is to treat your skin with some kind of active um, spot treatment, something like that. So this is also another category where this is going to vary a lot. I have four different products here, so I'm just going to quickly run through these. If my skin is feeling like I'm having a lot of breakouts, if it's especially bumpy or something and something's just weird about it, then I'm definitely going in with my tried and true Stridex Maximum Strength Pads. These are gonna be great for clearing up your fungal acne. In fact, if you're someone who is just into the fungal acne stuff, this is one of those products that I would say you just need to get your hands on. It is inexpensive, it is so, so effective. 
All right, you guys, sorry if I'm looking a little red right now. I'm having an allergy attack like crazy. It's so weird out of nowhere. But another product that I just got my hands on that's a good like spot treatment kind of a gig is this AZ Clear Action Azelaic Acid Antibacterial Cream. This is a treatment for pimples and acne, blackheads, and papulopustular rosacea. OMG, that's a hard word to say. My sister actually has been using this a lot and I can tell like after the first time that she used this product, I hadn't quite started yet. And I looked at her skin and she, you guys, had like everything just looked so much like brighter and clearer. I have used this a few different times and I also could notice that my skin was a lot brighter the next morning. It looked a lot like my pores had kind of shrunk down and overall I did feel like I was a lot clearer. As a side effect, it does kind of lighten your skin a little bit so that's just something like precautionary. I'm just letting you know. It's not marketed to do that but it does have that as a side effect. So just be cautious and aware if you wanted to get your hands on this. I will try to find a link and get this for you guys, but it's not really easy to find. You can't get it on Amazon or anywhere like that that I know of. Um, so I'll let you know. And it takes forever to ship depending on where you are in the world. So heads up on that. I will say that sometimes when I put this on, it feels a tiny bit itchy after I put it on. So that's a little bit weird, but so far I'm still kind of liking it, still testing it out. And if you want to get your hands on it, this is something that I would use if my skin was congested, um, if I wanted to clear some more pimples up and I just felt like I had been going hardcore on salicylic acid. I just think sometimes I like to, you know, change it up and see what the result will be. So um, I won't, you know, in, in lieu of using these, I'll try this instead. And it seems to be very effective. So either would be a good purchase. Third treatment option. This is one I actually go for almost every single night. This is the Ordinary's Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. They call this a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. What I notice about this is when I do use it, and sometimes I get like cystic things on my chin that I just kind of think are hormonal or something like that, I notice that after I use this, those will significantly decrease in size and like, you know, swelling basically. And then another thing that I always notice when I use this is that my skin just looks so much clearer and brighter and my pores always look way smaller than they did the night before. So if you're kind of in that like phase where you feel like you just notice your pores a lot and you're looking for something that might help you with that a little bit, these kind of act as decongestants for your pores. That's kind of how I think of them. And especially this one, I have a lot of like time. I've spent a lot of time using this and I absolutely swear by this stuff. So that's another really good one. Last but not least, I'm someone who really wants to consider anti-aging and using a few more different types of products in my skin. And one product that I really love is to have a vitamin C. It just really helps with like radiance and just glowiness and youthfulness in your skin. And I will have talked about this in my AM video, but sometimes I will put this Hylamide C25 um, vitamin C booster on my skin at night too. Normally I don't mix this in if I'm using one of these other products. It's just like a standalone night. So if my skin was looking especially good and I just thought, oh, I'm going to try to maintain that the best of my ability or add to that even more, I'll reach for this and then follow it up with the third category, which is a great segue into our third and final category, which is moisturize. So for moisturizing, I will always almost almost always start out by using my humectant. So that is filtered water and I spritz this all over my face after I've let the like active type ingredient dry down on my skin pretty, you know, for at least about five minutes. And then I'll follow it up with my hyaluronic acid. You guys know this is like my winning combo and on nights when I feel like a thicker, heavier moisturizer is too much, I'll just go in with this twice. So sometimes in the summer, this is the only thing I use for moisture, and to be honest, it works really, really well for me. Um, but on nights when I do need it, because that happens too, I will follow that process up after it dries down with a hit of the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I've always used this on my face since I can remember because it's been the only one that I feel like I just get the result I need. This is my winter standby, but I will skip it if my skin just feels like it's overwhelmed with moisture and it's a little bit too clogged and I'll just use this. But you don't want to totally skip moisturizer because your skin needs moisture 
to actually get the healing process and help your other ingredients work better. So just don't skip moisturizer, even if you are a little bit oilier, at least do something light. So at least go in with something like this combo. Just to give you guys an option, because it is something that I occasionally do, and actually I've been doing a lot, um, is go in with squalane oil. So this is the Biosense 100% squalane oil. It's 100% plant derived. Um, it is of the sugar cane variety and not of the olive oil variety. Just to clarify, I can confirm that because I've checked in um, with Biosense about that. And if it ever changes, then I would probably have to change up the one that I use. But I've been using this forever, since long before I ever knew about fungal acne and really liking it. This is something that if I use it, I don't go heavy on it. I just put like a pump into my hand. I kind of like rub it between my palms and then I just press it onto my skin just so that I'm not like soaking and like super oily because then it will take way too long to like dry down and all that stuff and I don't want to mess with that. Lately, my winning combination has been double cleanse so with all my little products, then um, niacinamide, and then I've been going in with this followed up by just a pat of this and that seems to be like my current favorite combination of these ingredients but that is subject to change next week so that's why I wanted to show you guys all of these options and give you a variety of things here so as always if you guys have questions let me know in the comment section below um, I know that I didn't exactly share a moisturizer that was glycerin free apart from um, this Biosense Squalane Oil. Um, if you guys want that, I'm going to leave one below that it is by Fab, um, First Aid Beauty. It's the Coconut Water Moisturizer. I'm going to link it below and it is fungal acne safe, which sounds kind of crazy because it's like got coconut in the name, but it is okay. It checks out and I will link that below as well. If you guys are looking for something that's a little bit more like marketed as a face moisturizer, then I'm going to put that but you know, with fungal acne, you have to disrupt everything that you know about beauty and it's not a sin to use something like this on your face. You just have to be very aware of what you're doing and smart about it so you're listening to your skin. That is everything that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up right now. And as always, if you also like fashion, beauty, pop culture, and all the shiny things, you can press subscribe right now so that you don't miss anything coming from me. All right, you guys, I will see you in my next video. And if you want to check out my previous video, which was my AM skincare routine, I'm going to link it right now. Thanks for watching. Bye.